In Creo Parametric, you can assign mass properties to a component in mechanisms mode so you can take its inertia into account when performing a dynamic analysis. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have an assembly open. If you take a look in the model tree, you can see that a number of the components have a glyph that looks like a dot inside of a box. That indicates that the component was assembled with mechanism connections. Let's jump into mechanism mode by going to the applications menu and then choose mechanism. And on the left side of the ribbon, there is a mass property command in the information group. When I click on that, it tells me my unit system and also it tells me the total mass. And in my unit system, this is about 233 pounds. Let's close the mass properties information browser. And now to assign mass properties to a component, we can use the other mass properties command in the properties and conditions group. And so we have a couple of components in here to take other things into account, like we have a component that is to represent the mass of the driver. We're not actually going to physically model a person and put them in here. Hey, we're just going to use a simple component for doing that. So let's go to the mass properties command and it opens up the dialog box. For the reference type, you have three different choices, part or a top level layout. You can choose an assembly or a rigid body. Those are a bunch of components in a mechanism that moves together as a single unit. Let's go back to part or top level layout and I will choose the component that represents the driver. And here we have a drop down list where you can define the properties for this particular component either by the default, in other words, using the amount of volume and the density in order to calculate the mass and the inertia and the CG. You also have the choice of defining the density inside of here for the component, but I'm going to use the third choice, mass properties. And we can say the mass of this person is going to be 200, and I'll hit the Enter key, and then I can click the OK button. So there we have done it for that component. Let's hide some other components in here. I'm going to take the body panels and hide it. There is another similar component down over here that represents the engine. We don't have the engine physically modeled inside of here because it's a lot of components and it would end up slowing down the analysis and we really don't need the actual geometry of the engine for performing the dynamic analysis. So once again, we will go to mass properties and I will select that component for the engine. Once again, let's change the defined properties by drop down list to mass properties. And I'm going to say that this engine is going to be 60 and hit the enter key and then click the OK button. And by the way, here you can change the center of gravity with respect to the parts default coordinate system. Here's where you can specify the inertia either at the coordinate system origin or at the center of gravity. Let's click the OK button. And now when I go to the mass property command in the information group, hey, we have the total as 491.5 and some change. So that's how you can assign mass properties inside of mechanism mode. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.